I'd like to start off this video by thanking everyone uh, for the support that I received in my I Support You video. Um, for those of you who may not know, it did spread quite a bit around my neck of the woods. I was interviewed on Bob FM by Milky, and I'd like to thank him for helping spread the word. And uh, I was also contacted by uh, Stuntman Stu, Angie and Trish, the morning show for Magic 100. And I'm currently touring on the Magic 100 No More Bullies campaign. We're going school to school and we're talking to uh, both high schoolers and intermediate students. And we're talking about bullying. We're talking about uh, Jamie Hoobly. We're talking, we have a video from Alan Hoobly, a very, very powerful video. And uh, there's also a video that Magic 100 made, and I'm going to put a link in the description box below. And uh, do check it out. It really is a phenomenal video. Um, and so thank you to them. I also want to point out that uh, in my neighbor province of Quebec, a 15-year-old girl named Marjorie Raymond uh, committed suicide this past week, and in her letter to her mom, she did cite bullying. This kind of thing has always been around. Teen suicide, bullying, it's always been around. But in today's day and age, we really need to take strides to stop it. And how do we do that? We talk. We talk to students in schools, and we need legislation. And it's that kind of legislation that I want to talk about today. I want to talk to you about Windsor, Ontario and Detroit, Michigan. Not necessarily the cities in particular, but Windsor and Detroit are connected by a bridge. And that bridge is symbolic to how close the state of Michigan is to the province of Ontario. The two territories, even though they are so close, have both tabled very, very, very different anti-bullying laws. The recently re-elected Liberal Government of Ontario has tabled a bill which would give schools the power to expel bullies, where until now the only power they've had was to suspend bullies. And it also legally mandates that all schools, public and Catholic, create some form of a gay-straight alliance where there are students who request it. Now, for those of you who remember the halting Catholic District School Board um, last year in Ontario, who uh, outright banned gay straight alliances, and then the um, legal and public outcry that came afterwards, their compromise was that they would allow a gay straight alliance, but it wouldn't be called a gay straight alliance. And unfortunately, that soft wording has found its way into this bill. But other than that, this bill is both powerful and effective and if it is passed as such then it will go a long way um, to better protect the victims there is room for improvement uh, there does need to be more counseling available to bullies themselves as the conservative opposition rightfully pointed out but as i said this bill does have the potential to do a lot of good things on the other side of the bridge, we have Detroit, Michigan. And in Michigan, a bill had been tabled, which was called the Matt Safe School Law. It was named after a teen who in 2002 committed suicide after years of bullying. Now this bill, in its original form, had the potential, like Ontario's, to be both powerful and effective. And then the Republicans got to it. What the Republicans did was they put in a clause this clause allows for the harassment of students by other students and teachers so long as their harassment comes from strongly held religious beliefs or moral convictions. It doesn't take a genius to figure out that this clause is directly targeting gay students. What other openly discriminated against group is so often discriminated against based on religious conviction. Why is same-sex marriage opposed? Religious belief. Why is same-sex adoption opposed? Religious belief. Why are discrimination laws against gays opposed? Religious beliefs. I have never been shy about my view on Republicans, and I'm not about to start today. If Republicans are so opposed to homosexuality, 
so repulsed by the idea that a gay teen might actually have a normal childhood that they're going to put forward such a morally bankrupt bill then they should have the fucking guts to stop calling it an anti-bullying law. Let's be clear here. This law will do absolutely nothing to protect gay teens. In fact, it'll do the exact opposite. If the goal of the state of Michigan is to put the lives of these kids in jeopardy, then congratulations, you've done it. It's a great day for America when an anti-bullying law actually justifies bullying. You know, these same Republicans, they'll call America the land of the free. And guess what? They're right. Because as an American, you are free, so long as you're not a faggot.